Hey guys, it's uh, Corey from Thought Soldiers. So I wanted to talk about <clears throat> some kind of interesting things that have been going on. Um, I've had to take a um, definitely a few days to more than a few days, actually a little bit of time to um, kind of go within and hibernate a little bit, especially with things going on, the way energies have been arriving. Um, you know, it's having to really integrate, um, no real like realizations other than it's just a time to really apply what's been learned recently, um, into my own life and into my own existence. And the one thing that's really been, um, kind of, I've been keying in on a lot is this resistance to negative emotions, um, which I'm now choosing to reframe and not really call it necessarily a negative, but a negative emotion because there's this, you know, anytime something um, unfavorable in my in my direction happens, it ends up being a catalyst for something beautiful on the other side. That's just the way it's kind of working a, a strange duality, if, if we if we want to say that. Um, and what I mean is that there was this kind of I had this big realization on Friday, where um, you know someone a, a really someone who's really dear to my heart helped to really ground me recently and there was this just this kind of like wake up of holy crap this is where i'm at like this is my life right now um seeing for it for what it is not not judging it whether it be good or bad but just seeing it for what it is and then you know now realizing that there are some shifts and i really do need to create some space to be able to allow um this existence that i'm choosing to live in i'm, I'm choosing to live in in 5d and so because of that, I need to create space now for 5D energies to, to, to make their way into my life as far as, you know, environment is concerned and so on and so forth. But what ended up happening was um, on Sunday, I found out that a um, very, uh, very close friend of mine that I grew up with um, was tragically killed in a car accident. And that flipped my entire world upside down and this is you know I, i've mentioned in videos before um that this happens uh, or this this happened before with me i sorry um three weeks ago i had a, a friend pass away as well another friend um and i was really stuck in this this like holy crap you know how do i grieve how do i how do I feel this? How do I go through it? And I'm not saying this to try to get sympathy points. It, it's a realization of this stuff will happen when we're on our path, when we are ascending. Um, you know, we will have things that happen that will knock us down. And this is something that, you know, um, I, I, I didn't know how to handle this level of grief. Like, you know, when I've had people pass away before, but this level of grief, I've never um, really had to go through um, awake and clean as well. I just don't know what to do. Um, and so I was kind of freaking out because like, especially since I've been doing this shadow work lately and really um, knowing that I'm kind of unstuffing and unraveling this, uh, this stuff I've stuffed down, I wanted to make sure that I processed it accordingly and, and was releasing it. And um, that's where this idea of resistance came into play where, you know, there are things that are going to happen along our path and along our journey, which are not going to be favorable to this kind of, you know, um, this blissful, eternal love state, because things are going to happen. And me, I'm, I'm a human, I have a heart. Um, and especially when it's someone I care about that I called a brother and, and something tragic like this happens, it's gonna take us out of the game for a little bit. And that's what happened for me is it took me out of the game and I'm still adjusting, you know, um, and I'm trying to not take pain and use that as a form of taking it out on, on other people because I still don't know quite how to grieve. Um, but I'm saying all this because the old patterns that I was stuck in was resistance. Resistance to negativity and negative emotion um, by running away. And that resistance, that, that resistance created a discord within me. That discord is such a powerful energy and, I, and, I, and I'm using this as a... Um, it's kind of a, a symbolism of it. This energy is a very powerful energy and it supports this illusion that we live in um, or this, this illusion we've been living in, which I would call the control matrix. Um, and so, you know, I, I want to say this because anyone that's embarking on this path and this journey, um, if you run into these unfavorable situations, I've said it before in videos, I've called it chaos. And 
uh, someone corrected me and said, why don't you use the word Discord? And it's it's a lot more, I, I favor that word now after really like resonating with it and um, looking up the definition and thinking about it. I really, you know, it's, it's a good term for it, Discord. Um, this discordant alliance that we kind of have with this illusion, um, it exists in old programming. And I call it a discordant alliance because basically, you know, when we resist and we run or we want or we um, try to try to think that, oh, life would be better if, just if I had these things, um, that, that, that resistance to run away from the emotion can thus create this discord, which once again, like I'm kind of repeating myself now, but it, it supports this illusion control matrix that we've been living in. So I've mentioned this before with being the eye of the storm. And now it's kind of changing to more like, I'm now running straight into the storm. Um, Teal Swan has a really good video about, it's called Spirituality 2.0, and that's kind of what was the catalyst for me wanting to make this video, was it's something I've been dealing with lately. I'm really trying to reintegrate with with uh, this, or integrate with this 5D energy that's arrived. And when something like this happened, I was like, you know, crap, am I gonna have to do this drop in vibration again to be able to like kind of get back up? And I did briefly. But I'm learning though too, that feeling these emotions, especially when it comes to grief and, and sadness and extreme loss and extreme pain, like and that I felt emotional pain, it didn't necessarily knock me down in vibration because of my thought process. My thought process was, I'm going to feel this so I don't stuff, so I don't create this old pattern. And it didn't necessarily drop into vibration. Now, I did drop today, and I noticed it because I'm so tuned in and aware of my environment that I could see the reflection supporting some subconscious darkness that was there. And luckily, stumbled upon like the other day i did a um an entity removal ceremony which i'm kind of looking more into with how to do it in depth um you know rewrote some contracts that's something that i, I never got into before it was something i was i was aware of but i thought it was all you know hocus pocus but i gave it a shot and that helped that was that was step one but just now i did a um i did a cord cutting ceremony um because i still have some old 3d i call them 3d and 4d relationships that I still have attachments to that I feel are blocking me from this new path that I'm trying to lead on, especially when it comes to um, master building in the fifth dimension. And what really made me realize this was uh, today um, we had a, a meeting with Soul Tribe. So once again, I'm doing a little plug in with Soul Tribe. Soul Tribe's coming up and running pretty soon. So we set some nice intentions to be able to get that up and running and uh, shout out to Fontaine for uh, put, getting everyone together. It was such a beautiful moment. And when we had all of us um, talking earlier, I could feel my heart chakra, it's going off right now. Heart chakra was fluttering. I was getting filled with all this light and all this high vibrational energy. Um, and it really brought me back to that space of belonging in this fifth dimensional world, especially with what's been going on lately. And this loss that I encountered was um, also ended up bringing up some more stuff which is old energy that I'm trying to, I've been trying to rid myself of for a few months now. And a lot of that ridding of that energy is through shedding these layers and finding my true authenticity. So anyway, um, I found out that, you know, through this and then just the way the universe unravels itself, um, I did a little cord cutting ceremony that was um, a meditation that was just posted by um, Heather Hoffman of... Um, Oh, I don't know, I forget her name right now on um, on YouTube. But anyway, all these things arrived in divine timing um, because I realized that not only was I, you know, this, this, this knockdown in vibration that I had as I thought it was a result of the pain that I endured from losing the friend was actually still a cord opened up to a... 3D, 4D relationship that I had a little while ago that was still draining me. Um, and so anyway, I, I did this, this, this cutting and I'll tell you what, I feel like a brand new person. I hop right back up and I was like, time to turn on, time to turn on the camera and, and, and make a video, um, which is something I haven't been able to do in a while just because of the state of being I've been in. So if you are, um, doing your best working with, with 5D and you know that all the shadow work you've done 
and everything you've done to be able to get to this point, if you're still feeling a little off, I ask that you you take a moment to go into meditation and to ask your guidance um, or to let your third eye show you where these chords could exist. Because that's what I did. I set the intention. I said, listen, I know that there could be some chords here, especially with the divine timing of all this stuff popping up when I was trying to mess with entity removal and the chord cutting thing. Please show me. And I could feel them. I could feel two chords in my core. I could feel one on the right and left side, which, you know, I take right side is is um, the giving and the left side is kind of the receiving end of everything um, or the balance of feminine and masculine, however you want to look at it. But anyways, I had, I had two chords going to this individual and I had a heart cord as well that was going there. So I knew that and I could feel it. It wasn't something that I saw in my mind's eye. I could just, I felt these pressures like, and that's, that to me um, was good clarification because especially someone who comes from a mental health background, when I ask for clarification um, from my guidance or, you know, from my intuition, whatever, I make sure and it's a way that's not in a form that I could um, think is psychosis because that's very real. So anyways, um, if you're feeling these things and you're feeling yourself lower down, I ask that you, you tune into yourself and see if these chords are existing. Um, because for a while, you know, I thought it was, you know, for the past few days, I thought it was this, this grief and this trauma that I was going through that was knocking me down. But it wasn't because when I was feeling these emotions and I was letting the tears come and um, I was letting myself feel it and I was letting myself purge it, I didn't feel my vibration drop. It was, it was interesting. Like I felt like I still held that resonance. And so uh, this kind of big clarification is that if we're feeling an emotion that's unfavorable to us, it's not the emotion itself that knocks us down, but I believe it's our mindset and it, it's what we're doing. Like, you know, um, especially since I don't know how else to explain it, but it, I just, I didn't feel like it was dropping me, but sitting in that, sitting in that pain and dwelling in it longer than it needs to be dwelled in. Um, that's when I feel that we're, we're kind of going to possibly drop in vibration, depending on the person. Um, for me, that's how it was. So, um, and the other thing too, if anyone, if anyone has gone through this is, um, me, I'm, I've been feeling a little bit guilty for feeling good after losing someone that was at one point in time, very, very close to me. Recently, we, we've been out of contact for a little while, but this was a, a guy that was a little brother to me. I almost felt bad for, for wanting to, or like to start to feel better and try to smile more and to laugh. But, um, I wanted to share this cause if someone else has to go through this ever, I, I want you to know that this is what I did was I, I, I prayed and I said, Hey bud, like, what do you want me to do? And he smiled and he was like, get up and live your life because that's what he would want for me as a brother who knows my path and how I'm trying to exist in this world and what I'm trying to build for myself. He's understanding that I gave ample time to grieve and it's time for me to smile because that's what he would want. So if you ever encounter while you're trying to ascend and you're hitting these, these 5D energies and you're, and you're trying to integrate and you're trying to live in a state of love and understanding and compassion, um, but you have something that knocks you down, don't judge yourself. I think that's a, a, big, a big learning lesson for me is to not judge yourself and also to not resist it. Because resisting is going to create that discord, which is a very powerful energy to support the control that we're trying to escape. Um, and so give yourself ample time to grieve and definitely communicate to your, to your loved ones what's going on. That's what I did. I, I've been communicating heavily, especially with my work about what's been going on. Um, not with the 5D stuff, but with the grief stuff. And, and give myself ample time to rest and to relax and to feel and to process and to move on. Because I know that's what's best for all of us. And I know that... You know, he's right there and, and he's he's rooting me on just like our our loved ones, our team is is always rooting us on. So anyways, I wanted to um just do a, a quick little one to discuss that and hope that if anyone is is going through any dark moments on their ascension path um, or encounters something like this that throws you off course, um, just know you're not alone and um, feeling that negative emotion will not drop you in vibration especially if your intention is to clear it so you don't stuff it and continue those old patterns and those old cycles that have kept us trapped for so long. So if you're releasing it, it's a healthy thing. So anyways, that's all I got, guys. If you haven't, click subscribe. Um, if you want to reach out, shoot me an email, corymaclite, L-I-T-E, 33, at gmail.com. Um, and I hope everyone has a wonderful and safe week. 
let the miracles keep rolling through. Um, check in with yourself. And, um, you know, today also, as a few people have mentioned, energies are getting a little... Um, just go with it. Take care of yourself. Drink lots of water. Try to eat healthy. And um, treat yourself with kindness, love, and respect because it's going to take a while to adjust. And, and help blaze the path for those that are that are struggling too, that are just figuring out that something weird's going on. Because uh, we're not completely crazy. <laughs> Anyways, much love and respect, guys. And um, I'll see you on the other side. Namaste.